If you have tried this wine variety, then it's likely that you don't have very high expectations of it. And if you haven't tried it yet, then great. I'm glad that your expectations haven't been tainted just yet. My name is Chloe and I have a love affair with Italy and I love sharing that passion with you guys because I believe that the more you know about wine and the more you can understand it, the more you can enjoy it and that's what life's about, right? And maybe you can impress your friends about it and feel confident in your local wine shop. But today we are going to be talking about dolcetto and dolcetto translated into Italian actually means little sweet one and it hails from this beautiful region of Piedmont Italy. So where does this grape variety come from? Well, it is believed, there are a few different tales about this wine dolcetto. It is believed that it could be native to this very area, Dogliani, but another theory suggests that it was brought to a Monferrato from France in the 11th century. Now this bottle is empty so I can't really, I can't really pour a glass of wine and share it with you guys, but if you do happen to have a glass of dolcetto in your hand or imagine that you do then you're going to see that it is very intense in color however this intenseness in the color doesn't necessarily translate to the intensity in the flavors in fact a lot of dolcettos that i have tried have been very lacking in flavor but that's not to say that all dolcettos lack in flavor ones that are beautiful are going to display aromas of violets blackberries plums licorice and spices they're usually bone dry moderate tannins with low to medium acidity which makes these wines super soft and super approachable now this is your classic wine found on a lunch table uh, in your piedmontese homes and piedmontese restaurants it is in fact a food friendly wine it is typically paired with salumi meats and dishes filled of tomatoes and roasted vegetables. Because of its versatility, it pretty much goes with many Italian and Piedmontese foods. Now, my favorite producers that I have tried so far of Dolcetto is in fact Mariziano Abona. And you can find a link to this wine in the description below. This wine is from Dogliani and it is Abona wine but he does do a lot of different variations of dolcetto so i do suggest that you go and check it out another one is cascina delle rose and they typically produce barberescos they are located in barberesco but they also have a dolcetto that is absolutely mind-blowing so as i said before you can go check them out in the links in the description so there we have dolcetto today guys if you do like learning about italian wine and drinking italian wine then be sure to subscribe put a thumbs up or down as a way of letting me know that this content is what you guys want to see and i'll see you guys on my next video ciao for now so there we have dolcetto ticket